Welcome back Helldivers to a brand new video. Now today I am going to be giving you the brand new news update from today for the game because we have put in the shift which uh, I expected it was going to be pretty quick because uh, you know it was quite in my eyes quite an easy major order especially with the time we were given for it but it has been completed in less than a day. I'm going to be showing you all of the news updates from the devs at Helldivers or Arrowhead. Um, so if you guys do enjoy today's video, as always, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's get in with it. It is a happy Friday, so we should be expecting a major order for the weekend. I can't wait to see what we're going to be getting. But pretty much the team at Helldivers tweeted out today saying, 2 billion bugs dead in less than a day. Helldivers, the Terminid planets run red with liberty thanks to the ins this inspiring display of self-defense. Your, de your designated loved relative pet neighbor on Super Earth has been informed of your bravery. And pretty much if you didn't see the major order, you'll be able to see it on your screen. It said it ended in 5 days and 21 hours and we had to kill 2 billion bugs and we did it within less than a day. And I knew we would to be honest because who does love a major order or a mission that's just involving absolute carnage and taking out as much as we could and that's why I just knew this one was going to be taken out um, as, as, as quick as possible and how weird is it I don't know if you guys ever feel this as well when as soon as a major order has been completed you then load up the game and then you're like so right now we're awaiting our we're awaiting our next uh, our next job from super earth and uh, yeah so uh, I'm well done to everyone um, we seem to be smashing it when Whenever as possible. I think the only time we don't set, tend to smash major orders is when it's absolutely crazy, and there's even like there's been times where the game you haven't even been able to connect to the game due to some bugs, and that's the only time it really can stop us. Um, so yeah, well done to everyone. Now recently, um, Helldivers posted out some polls, um, which I thought were very interesting because they wanted to get some feedback on what the game and what you're currently feeling about the game and what you want to see next as the main priority. And uh, the, the full votes are in now for it. And uh, so the first one was, in general, how do you feel about the current state of the game? And pretty much the votes were here, as you can see. Great, I'm still having tons of fun. Had 62,633 votes with 55% of it. Second was good. I still play often, but I enjoy it less than before with 48,133 with 42% of the vote. And then poor, I don't have fun, is very low with 3%. And bad, I'm not having fun anymore. Literally only has 1%. So I think the, 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 sort of the majority of the current state of the game... Um, is looking pretty good um, and that's uh, what I'm, I'm sure the team at Arrowhead are very happy um, and uh, um, then the next one they did after that was if you had to pick one which would you like to see going forward and there was more weapons or large balancing change to weapons which had 18% of the vote um, we had New armors with more varied traits and passives with 18% of the vote as well. And then the winner of it was different objectives, modifiers, biomes and planets with 44,278 votes with 36% of it. Um, which I, I was, I thought this was really, really cool. But I was surprised that it wasn't actually joint with um, down below. So down below was no new content. Fix the technical issues and bugs. And this had 33 3,861 votes with 28% of it. And I think the way I look at it is... I think they need to be joint together because one, they are still quite close, and two, um, you're sort of as a as a team, as Arrowhead, and they've talked about this in many interviews recently. As they've said, it's very hard when you're doing a live service game to keep the whole player base happy. It's never going to happen. Like there's always going to be someone that's going to want something else that comes with the game, and. Obviously now, because the majority of the vote goes towards different objectives, modifiers and biomes and planets, I think that is huge still because that's what keeps the game fresh and keeps people coming in. But then if they can balance that between... Um, between fixing the technical issues and bugs, that would be fantastic. One of the things that um, the Arrowhead team actually were talking about recently is they're finding it very tough to release a war bond every single month. Um, 
and then um, and then and and obviously fixing everything at the same time. So a question for you guys would be. What would you think about in the future maybe pushing the war bond to every two months or do you think that would you kill the love for you for the game like are you really i mean obviously i want a war bond every month because it's exciting and fun but if i to if i were to choose between the health of the current game and the new content i'm gonna choose the health of the current game um so like if, if we were to focus on major orders and things like that and maybe some new biomes and then um have the game in a healthy state i think i would overall prefer that than the new war bonds now of course in a perfect world we want the, the game to carry on going where it's going like war bond every month new biomes new places to explore new factions you know coming in because that's been something that's been rumored and talked about for months and months on end but i think a lot of the community sways towards getting the game into a healthy state now i don't think it from my current play experience there's anything too too like game breaking for me there are the odd things there could be the odd crashes things like that which would be fantastic to get that better but in my whole playing experience maybe it's because I don't play like long sort of like six to ten hour shifts at once I feel like many players that do that would experience that more than me because I sort of split from different games to games but when I play my sort of small like two hours here two hours there then you know that for me is always a really enjoyable experience and uh, that uh, is what I really like because that's how I tend to play games unless I'm on a full-on like grind of all my friends on one day then we will do the longer um, sessions but yeah, that's pretty much everything to share with you guys with today's new Helldivers news and updates. We got the results on the game. We smashed the new major order and we will be expecting a new one coming through later today so we can enjoy it and grind it over the weekend. As soon as that major order comes through, I will upload a video as I have been with you guys giving you the daily Helldivers news and updates. But apart from that, that is going to be the full news roundup. If you did enjoy please consider subscribing and leaving a like because if you guys haven't noticed about my channel, if you haven't seen me before, um, pretty much I've always been a game news presenter type thing. I don't even know what you call it on YouTube, but whereas like all my favorite games that I'm playing at, at the moment, I will update you guys on everything, even if it's a tiny bit of uh, information that I think's big, it will come to the channel and you guys will know about it straight away. And I always have a little thing that I like to say that I like to get things out as fast as possible, hopefully improving the content quality as well at the same time. So come and join us. The Discord as well is always in the link in the description down below. Leave a like and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be coming later on the Major Order. See you guys then.